Now that we're done collecting over 70 mobs, I can finally take it. Wait, what? Oh, I did? Wait, that too? Oh, okay, I get it. Ah, okay, finally. After some research, I found 10 rare mobs in hardcore Minecraft that I'll be getting, starting off with some that are easy to get, all the way to getting extremely rare mobs, which can take years to spawn. Luckily for me, I already know the first mob that I want to get. It's a very easy rare mob to acquire, and it's a creeper. Oh, wait, no, sorry, the charged creeper. Yeah, that makes more sense. Just first thing we need to worry about is just getting a trident from a drowned. So I think I've been doing something wrong because I've been waiting here for the last 10 minutes. You know, the ocean was just filled with cod, squids, and dolphins. So I then had to move around because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Dodge the tridents and please drop it. What? Where's the trick? <laughs> oh, why did I just go and murder all those innocent fish for no reason? Oh, I guess I just got too angry and I kind of got ahead of myself. Sorry about that, everybody. I swear you better drop the stupid trident. <laughs> Oh, thank heavens. So now that we got our trident, we need to get the channeling enchantment for our trident to make the lightning go bang. Hmm, so I don't think impaling is gonna help. Let me check all my enchantment books. Is there channeling here somewhere? Oh, uh, so that means I'm gonna have to go make a bunch of books, aren't I? <laughs> then it was a whole lot of back and forth of gathering enchantments and realizing all of them are trash So then it's on to hoping that the next one has channeling then realizing it doesn't then enchanting another book Hoping that that one has channeling and then guess what newsflash none of them end up having it. We finally got it Oh wait one sec. We finally got it. Oh, just beautiful. We've got no durability, so I guess we're gonna have to go get mending on this bad boy. I have a big feeling that this video is gonna be an absolute pain. Boy, I had no idea how bad it was gonna be. <laughs> However, we should probably get some more durability. We're gonna have to get some XP real quick. All right, I suppose we can go back, and now it's time to go find a creeper. First, I think I should test this out, so do I just do like... Wait, what? Channeling is a trident enchantment that produces lightning when thrown on a mob. What? Or lightning rod while a thunderstorm is occurring. Oh man, we gotta wait for a thunderstorm? What did you just say to me? Oh, we just got an achievement. Interesting. Okay, so let's see if this works. Would this cause a... Okay, what is going on? He summons a lightning bolt when a mob is hit by a thrown trident. Wow, are you kidding me? Oh god, I missed. Oh, where'd that go? Oh, here it is. Just, okay, let me just test this out real quick. Hey, it, oh, it works. Okay, perfect. Give me a creeper. Two creepers. Okay, so we're just gonna want the one. You, Mr. Creeper, come here. Oh my. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Can you become a church? Okay, we're gonna want to be very careful right here. I just, no. What? Are you dumb? I'm right here. Okay, just get in no, there. Get in no. there. Just like fall in here. Oh my god, why are there so many phantoms? Bro, there's literally four phantoms on my head. No, get in the glass. Wait, what if I drop? Will it follow me? Oh, I'm so stupid. What am I doing without my totem of undying? Oh god, okay, one sec. Just keep following me. Oh my lord, he looks so scary. Where am I? Mm, oh my god, that means I gotta go back. <laughs> After that creeper blew up, I realized that I don't have a room for any of these new mobs. So I then had to quickly box up this creeper like I'm some kind of nine-year-old Fortnite prodigy while making comments about the charged creeper's moms. Then go and solve this problem that I stupidly forgot about. Don't ask me why I didn't think of this before. I'm just apparently really dumb and I just, I can't think that far ahead. But now this makes it really easy for us to go and get our second mob that we're gonna have to collect. And that's the brown mushroom. In order to get them, you need to hit a regular red mushroom cow with a bolt of lightning, and that instantly turns into a brown mushroom. Easy, right? Or, you know, we could wait for one to naturally spawn, but it's a 1 in 1024 chance, which comes up to like... I don't know, pretty rare, but it isn't like extremely rare because it's still less rare than any of you finding a Minecraft girlfriend. Now I guess we're just gonna have to wait for thunderstorms again. We just gotta get it. 
Wait, where's the trident? Oh my god, don't tell me I forgot the stupid- Oh, so thank god, there it is. Okay, let's build a nice quick bit of fort. And now, we wait. Okay, so now I should be able to just... Mm. Perfect. Chef's kiss, baby. Okay, so now we'll just get in the boat for right now. And, oh god, this is gonna be so fun. And wow, that means we literally already got two mobs done. You know, getting the charged creeper and this brown mushroom were pretty easy and they didn't take too long. But some of the rest of the mobs that I'm gonna have to acquire later in this video, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So to bring this charge creeper in here, I'm gonna try a pretty risky tactic and I feel like it's really gonna blow up in our face. <laughs> Get it? Blow up in our face because it's a creeper and it's a meta- Shut up! Uh, okay. So I'm gonna want to get the creeper from its little stupid pen, have it scarily follow me all the way back to our designated room for it, and then enter the left side of the broken glass to get the creeper to come into the room, and then exit the right side, and then hopefully be able to place the glass without having the creeper blow up. Hopefully when I show you the results, everything was able to work and nothing bad happened. Alright, this is the moment of truth. We'll just- Hey buddy. Hey, just hey, slowly follow me and just please don't tweak on me. Wait, he doesn't have a name tag. Uh, okay, just stay there, buddy. Don't do anything crazy. Uh, when do we name him? Let's name him Thor, but not really Thor, because it's a creeper and not a Nordic god. Oh, well, I guess it's stuck with that, but whatever, we'll take it. Okay, come here, Thor, but not really Thor, because it's a creeper and not a... Ugh. Okay, don't you blow up. Oh my goodness gracious. He really wanted to blow up right there. I was not ready to go through all this hassle again. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Come in through here. Yep, nope, nope, nope. Come in through here. Over here. Nope. Yeah. Okay, block this, block this, block that. Oh, oh, it worked. Okay, thank God we got the charge creeper complete. I was too nervous about that one. Wait, what are you, what is the slime doing in here? Gotta be careful because I don't want to hit the cow. Uh, we'll name him Brown Soup. Don't know why, but you know, Brown Soup. Getting Brown Soup was much, much, much easier than the charge creeper. Crazily enough, the next pretty rare mob we have to get has to do with these guys. Oh my god, what are they doing in this corner? I, I think I'm gonna have to blur this out. YouTube is not gonna support this. As we all know, there are axolotls and they can range in five different colors, being brown, pink, gold, cyan, and the infamous blue. Each of the first four colors can randomly spawn in the wild except the blue axolotl. When breeding axolotls, there's a one in 1,200 chance. Basically 0.083% chance for them to spawn and turn blue. And in order to breed axolotls, you need to feed both parents a bucket of tropical fish and since I'd need up to 2400 buckets of tropical fish to get one blue axolotl we needed to make a tropical fish farm that would just toss them up to the top of our wall so we can easily transport the buckets to breed those axolotls then honestly after not too long we finally got it you know wow it only took Actually, I can't count all that, but it was a lot. A lot less than I was planning though, which was great for my sanity. And then yeah, we had a lot of leftover axolotls in the wild. So yeah, rest in peace to all the fish. Because I just let in over 30 apex predators into your habitat. Eh, oh well. Which now brings us to... Our third rare mob being captured. Although, I mean, I think they're having fun just swimming in the loop, but they're not really given much of a space like none of them are. Is PETA going to be coming after me soon after this? Uh, I don't, I don't want to look forward. Oh my god, no! And this next rare mob that we're going to have to go get is actually going to be a pretty unique mob, to be completely honest. Which, this brings us back to our village, so where we made this huge black tarp over. And even though everything looks clear here, if I were to take off the Fulbright mod... <laughs> Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. this this is what this place looks like. So I'm quickly just gonna have to torch this place up. Hello. Oh god! As we all know, iron golems are there to protect the villagers, right? Wrong! Well, kind of. Once you complete a raid, a villager tosses up fireworks, and by some luck of chance, if an iron golem is near, and if that firework pops off and hurts the iron golem, the golem gets real pressed and starts going around killing all the villagers making him a rare angry iron golem. And he'll be the perfect rare mob for us. 
Okay, so I mean, I think this will be good enough. We got extremely lucky because I completely thought I let all the villagers die. These iron golems have just been protecting the villagers. So yeah, good job because in about 30 minutes, you're gonna wanna be killing them. And you, you probably will. Oh my Lord, wait, I just thought about this. If this iron golem gets mad at these villagers and attacks these villagers, he breaks his natural duty to protect these villagers and by attacking anything that would hurt them. So would that mean that this iron golem Three would then sides. attack this iron golem? Because this iron golem is attacking attacking these villagers. Hmm. In order to do this, I'm gonna need to get the iron golem and the villager real close to one another. Oh, but now I have to go get pistons and then bring the, p the villagers up and... Oh wait, never mind. I think I have a better idea. No, get in the circle. Okay, good. I think this will work. After this upcoming raid, if you guys are still here and if you didn't kill them, I'm gonna be very angry. Okay, good night little one. See you soon. Hopefully not. Before we do this, I'm gonna have to go do something real quick. Okay, and then once again, we're just gonna have to wait for a captain to then bring that effect all the way over there and start a nice raid. Man, it's been such a long time since I've done an actual raid. I'm typically just used to my raid farm and that completing itself. Oh, well, I guess I'm used to this part though. Oh my goodness, it's starting, it's starting. No one freak out. I said no one freak out. A few moments later. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. Just forgot we gotta switch this and... Okay. All right, Mr. Iron Go... Oh, he, the Iron Golem already died. That's an absolute shame. I guess it's just me now. Okay, and we're already struggling. What is going on? Oh my god, what, what already? Are you serious? Why do I always put myself in these stupid situations? <laughs> Oh, I wish I wouldn't have made an Iron Golem army. This would have made things much better. Uh, why, why is he running so fast? What the heck? I decided that I complained a lot during the raid battle, so let's skip it to the end. Oh, life is not good right now. Life is not good. Oh, that somehow slipped its way into the final production cut. Don't know how that got there. Ouch, I forgot they can fly through walls. God, why is life so stressful all the time? Wait, where's the pillager? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he doing in there? Oh, victory. Oh my lord, does that mean... Are they alive? Wait, what? Why are you guys still alive? Weren't you supposed to... Oh my lord. You know what I just realized too? Rather than fighting this whole raid, there's a much better plan that I could actually end up using. In the raid farm, when completed, the villagers can still celebrate and pop off their fireworks. So I decided to just move the villager and iron golem to a little pod near our raid farm so I can just keep on retrying easily without having to almost die multiple times. All right, this is the moment of truth. Oh, there's no villager! Oh, so that means that this must be an angry golem! Oh, sweet, that's actually so awesome! Except for that poor villager. Alright, well, let's now bring this bad boy back to the base. So that brings us to four rare mobs already found. And I mean, the fifth one on our list isn't gonna be too exciting. Our fifth mob that we wanna be getting can either randomly spawn or we can breed them. And it's the brown panda. Pandas have a 1% chance of spawning brown, which seems pretty good, right? Wrong again. It personally feels like it takes 30 minutes for a single panda to spawn, which would then take over 50 hours for one to spawn, given my luck. So we'll have to go to the breeding route, but the breeding rate of a brown panda is way worse than one naturally spawning. But I mean, we're just gonna have to stick with it because the way to get it just brings us back here to our bamboo jungle. Which this seems like kind of a stupid plan because I realized that waiting so long would be a huge time waster so I decided to combine it with another farm to get another rare mob which is the chicken jockey, kinda. It's the zombie villager chicken jockey. Which I'm sure we know chicken jockeys are rare but the fact that it's a zombie villager? Even rare. Ooh. So I then decided to make a mob farm and a panda breeding ground right beside one another so I could kill two birds with one stone. Since we have our huge chunk of farms right here and the jungle is... Just over there. Transporting the pandas to be near a mob farm won't be too bad, actually. Time to start to build this little mob farm. I don't think this should conflict with either of these mobs with the spawn rate. But I mean, eh. We just gotta place this chest and hoppers. 
And now I just need to expand out this platform. And then once again, build up around this outline. And then guess what? Even more expanding of the platform. Hmm. The water is supposed to reach this edge, but I, it, it obviously can't. <laughs> uh, so I made this farm like one block too wide. Oh God, one second. At this point, I'm just getting really tired of placing all these stupid blocks. And the thing is too, like this farm really won't benefit me much. Because I mean, we got a creeper farm there, which is specifically good for gunpowder. And we got our XP guardian farm over there. And just literally all this is, is to just get a chicken jockey. This doesn't really benefit us. The only thing we get is just like a rare item, which I mean, I think that's a big flex in itself. If this is all working correctly, there should be mobs here. Uh, yeah. Oh! Sweet. So now this should be good, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to think of a way to tunnel these guys out now. After messing around with a few designs, I think I came up with a decent one. Just gotta test this out, and okay, it works. Sweet. Now let's bring it to our world. goodness wait wait did we finally get one of them oh yes. we got the zombie villager okay okay we'll just oh no 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 not the oh god oh, oh god oh what are we doing just get in the boat oh both of you guys are in the boat perfect listen i know there's much more rare mobs to get i know we could get like the enchanted diamond armor whatever kind of armor they spawn in but i'd be here for twenty three thousand years we can't do that it's not feasible yeah as you see we have a lot of pandas there and still no brown panda too oh god life is just taking so long and i don't but i mean i won't be surprised if i'll be here soon after because we got to find that spider jockey and now don't mind me here just gonna be transporting me and our good old friend into his little pod oh man this took so long I'm getting really sick and tired of having to bring this boat up with these pistons. Oh wait, I just forgot we don't have enough rooms. But I really don't want to go build more rooms right now. I was looking forward to just... Okay, you stay here while I go and figure out this brown panda situation. You know, it's quite disappointing with the fact that we don't even have a brown panda yet, but... I mean, I don't know, I guess we're just gonna have to... Keep mating all these guys! Sadly, once again, I don't think I see any brown pandas. Wait, did I just see a brown panda in here? Hello! Oh, yes! Yes, we got the brown panda too, this is amazing! So, there's a couple ways we can go about clearing these pandas so we can easily get to our brown panda, but I don't think it's gonna be PETA approved. I don't think I should say it, I think I should just show you what I was planning on doing. You know what? No. No, 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 you guys are so annoying me. Yeah, uh, PETA didn't allow me to show the rest. And now that you're an adult, just get in here. Get, get in the boat. Oh, okay, finally. Okay, come on, big man. Now we just got to bring you to your nice two by three room. Oh, yeah, you're so gonna love it. <laughs> All right, big man, now just follow me to your nice little pod. Uh, I forgot to build the pods. Okay, we'll just... <clears throat> Finally, we'll keep you in this boat because we're going to be a little busy right now. But this right here is really what happened. <laughs> Wait, are you recording? Hey, hey, turn that off. Why would you have
Since we then got the pink sheep and the spider jockey, this leaves us with no more rooms and sadly we gotta create more. But I do remember a little tactic I once used and it's a sneezing method. Okay, here it goes. <sighs> Uh, you? Hmm. Okay, that's not where I wanted to be or what I wanted done. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, you? Oh, sh okay, this is not what we wanted. Okay, phew. Yeah, I forgot to record me sneezing to complete the rest of the building. Awkward. Now this leads us with two extra rare mobs to get, and our next one will be quite fun and interesting one to get, honestly. It's a snow golem but created by an enderman. You know, we all know that to make a snow golem, we just need to add a card pump to the two stacks of snow, right? Well, we also know that enderman can also pick up blocks and they can also pick up card pumpkins. So in theory, an enderman can create a snow golem, right? Which is a crazy occurrence, which technically being like a one in one trillion chance based off all the blocks in a Minecraft world. But the good thing is we can skew the odds in our favor by going to the end and creating a snow platform to force this rare mob to show up. Oh my goodness, there's two of them already. Uh, okay, how are we gonna do this? Block these right here and try and protect them real quick. Uh, I mean, I don't have any water buckets to be able to go down, so we're just gonna have to try and finesse this. Okay, okay, we got one block down. Ouch. Okay, we'll just, wow, there we go, there we go. Platform this out, and I should be good in any second now. Okay, we'll like this, oh my. Okay, so I think all I need to do is just build right here. I should try and be smart and try and pre-place these blocks. Oh, look at that poor Enderman. I'm gonna get this boat. No, wrong. Don't go there. That's how you pick fights you don't want to start. Okay, so we're just gonna have to be very careful and just really try not to fall off the edge and just really, oh God, really go around these corners easily. Okay, just don't anger the Enderman, Snow Golem. We'll just try and get them out of the way and just leave them alone and that's it. And they're smacking them. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I can just do a nice little drop off. Let's just go home, oh Jesus. Oh, it's like Fast and the Furious in this. Just follow me here, friend. All right, see ya, buddy. Oh God, this is always so awkward just leaving them because the rest of the mobs know what they're in for. Okay, I low-key don't feel bad for you because you hurt some innocent villagers. But I mean, also you only hurt them because I made them hurt you to cause this issue. Eh, oh well. Which this now brings us to our final rare mob that we're going to be getting in this video. This mob I actually found from infamous JJ's rare mobs video, and I had no idea it was a thing, but it also just makes so much sense. It's technically a peaceful pillager. How does that work, you ask? If you get a pillager with a crossbow and have it keep attacking you until its durability runs out, which is over 300 hits, by the way, it'll run around without anything in its hand and it won't be able to attack you. So now we just got to find a pillager outpost. And luckily for us, we have a pillager outpost real close to our base. And yeah, this should be pretty interesting. Come on, why are you not spawning? Hello? Are y'all good? Oh, th there we go. Keep following me and I pray none of your buddies spawn and start attacking me. Oh, we got another one with a crossbow. Oh, and there's three with a crossbow. Okay, we'll just slowly get you guys away. Oh, there there's four with a crossbow. Jeez, why do they all have crossbows? And they're just attacking each other like morons. No, just... Uh. Ah! Nope, there, <laughs> there goes one. Okay, now we just gotta get... Oh, two are gone now. Sweet. <laughs> oh, there we go. And now there's one. You know, the good thing is, I think by the time we get back to our base, he's gonna run out of the durability. I'm scared my shield might run out before that. Okay, we're getting close to our base. Just keep on attacking me, buddy. I'm starting to get concerned because we're running out of shield durability, and I don't think he's gonna be low, but I also can't afford to lose him. Here's the hope and we'll make it through. Oh, sweet. Come on in here, moron. Ouch! Whew. Nice. Dodge it again. Ouch! Alright, just follow me in here now, buddy. Get in there. If I just wait here and I hope eventually that his crossbow should break, right? I'm just a fool and I was supposed to do something else I just didn't realize. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Why are you running away? In the boat. Get in the boat. Okay, good. 
You know what? I won't lie. My finger is actually cramping from holding down the block button. Wow, and here's a peaceful pillager. Look, like he won't even attack me. Just chilling there in the corner. Sweet. So, you know, it's amazing that we got all of our rare mobs collect. Wait, I just forgot one final thing. Remember when I locked you in here? Well, I figured I could give you some company. Here you go. Now that's all you're gonna get. What? You thought I was reading you your Minecraft girlfriend? <laughs> oh, keep dreaming, pal.